All right, I'm going to see if I can get your attention real quick here. Um, you're going to look at this and say, yeah, okay, he's got a schoolgirl circuit, a Bedini style motor here. He's going to hook it up, spin this, and the bulb is going to light. Let me see if I can get your attention uh, a little bit quicker than that. Hold off. I'm going to plug in uh, 12 volts to it. Oh, gee, I forgot to turn the rotor and spin it. Thought you might find this interesting that uh, by accident here I, I ended up with a, a self oscillating circuit. Let me unplug it a couple times here. Voltage off, voltage on, on, on. Q. You can see the coils are, uh, are initialized. You can hear the uh, you can hear the oscillations. It'll spin. It'll do. Di Does different things uh, when you touch the bulb. What I've done here is I've put a piece of tin foil in the bulb, and I can connect up to uh, various places in the circuit. This is probably the collector of the transistor. So there you have it. Some fun. I just unplugged this battery from the charger just to show you that I don't have anything strange coming in here. This is a little uh, 0.8 milli or uh, 0.8 amp uh, battery. There we go. Holy smokes. Now that surprised me. That's the first time I tried that. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a surprise. No rotor. I thought that the magnets were having something to do with that oscillation. Now what do I do? Um, still adjusts. You're watching me discover this right now. Hmm. Will it self-start? I don't think so. But let's see. No, it doesn't seem to. Okay, I've lost my audio that goes along with this clip, so let me try to explain here quickly what's going on. Uh, I've uh, hooked up two bulbs uh, to the uh, uh, motor. They uh, would come on normally at about 60 to 70 volts when checked with a variac and draw about 200 to 300 milliamps. I've tuned the uh, motor up to uh, run at about 12.6 volts or so, and the bulbs light up uh, and run at about... Uh, 580 milliamps. 
when I disconnect the bulbs the current draw actually goes up to 600 milliamps so uh, connected 580 milliamps disconnected 600 uh, I would sort of expect with a standard generator to at least draw more current than that when I check the uh, RPMs of the motor I'm running at about uh, 3000 RPMs uh, without a load and with the load 2980 so coincidentally it's uh, it's uh, the motor speed goes down about one RPM per tenth of a uh, or per millivolt uh, amperage draw can't believe this the rotor is still <laughs> bulb is still lit I may never be able to duplicate this again there's a humming coming from the uh, motor so it's self, os self oscillating without the uh, rotor turning Thank you.